Now, don't pretend you know what's going on inside there. I don't. Well, let's whip up the old horsepower then and go. She won't be too keen on the ribbons, by the way. I tell you that now to spare you later. Won't start. Arthur, when you wash a car, you're not meant to wash the engine as well. Don't start telling me about engines, son. I've forgotten more than you'll ever know about engines. Evidently. <coughs> Give her another go. German cars, Japanese cars, Italian cars, they all start first time. <laughs> I thought we won the war. We did. Probably because we were late for all of the battles. A taxi. Is there a taxi within running distance? Uh, George Eames? Yes. He's never out of bed before ten. A bus? Mm, what bus? I'm looking at you, Arthur, because this is your fault. You put it right. It's obvious, isn't it? For anyone with a brain in the head. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, she'll love that. Take your pick. The Land Rover or the wheelbarrow? <laughs> I'll get in the back for me. I'll get my bag. Well, come on, hurry up. Hang on, hang on. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. No. It only took one match to burn it down. <laughs> Arthur, there will be blows. Aimed at you. I'll just pop in and fend some of them off. Or oh, even she won't get snotty on her wedding day. And has that kind of faith sustained you all these years, wrongly? I'll just turn this motor around so we're ready for the off. Absolutely. Come on, we're going to be late. That's the one sentence I thought I'd never hear you say. Let them wait. Registrars aren't like doctors. You can't just pop in and say, marry me, like you can say, examine my baby. They don't go out on emergencies, either. I didn't even know you had a watch. Helen, please. And I've got something slight to tell you about the car. Oh, what I have to say is far more important. I do like the suit, by the way. Have I ever seen you in one? No. Was that it? The important thing? Good. Let's go. I've been thinking. No, you haven't. Oh, stop behaving like a bouncer in a sleazy club. I have been thinking about the right thing and whether we are doing it or not. Now, have you had any... Breakfast? Other... Plenty. Where's Jimmy in his car? Uh, one went out for a drive in the other, to have a little talk to himself. Always around when you need him. Oh, and I'd like to nip into the office sometime this morning. Uh, office is closed today. What? Jane's instructions. Yes, but I can see your hand at work behind it. I've got a suggestion to make. Let's make today the one day in our lives when we don't argue about anything. You want today to be boring? You can save it all up for tomorrow. But are we? We are. What? Late. It's very rude to be late. Doing the right thing. Certainly not. Good. We're madness on legs, and you look absolutely lovely. Well, your left ear does, anyway. <laughs> Fairly or very? Extremely. It's funny, you'll be here all the time afterwards, won't you? Oh, I thought I'd go and live in Aberdeen or somewhere. <laughs> How's my friend, the one who's sharing your body with us, who'd also like to be on time for his parents' wedding? Our friend is fine. <laughs> Must be Arthur. You know what a stickler he is for clocking on. Honestly, sometimes I wonder which of us is marrying an old woman. Uh, you're meant to drop on both knees and say it isn't you. <laughs> My creases couldn't stand it. I was going to say something about divorce. I can't have waited for years. Look, if you find yourself getting fed up with me, why are you nodding? If you do, <laughs> you only have to say no questions will be asked, not even what her name is. Who? Whoever it is you're getting fed up with me because of. Oh, really? <laughs> If we don't shift ourselves, we may never need a divorce. Now, come on. Uh, that you 
seems to be a jaguar, you know. Now look at it. Just get in, please. Oh, I suppose this was your idea. You didn't want to outdo the name. Oh, ha ha. Jaguar's bust a gut. Shall I sit on the sand or just lean casually on a spade? <laughs> what else did I expect? No doubt I shall be garlanded with chimney pots, carried aloft on a paving slab, bejeweled with drain pipes. <laughs> oh, did you remember the tap washer? What? I can hardly expect to be married with a ring. <laughs> what else is in store, I wonder? A night of passion in a sight hut? Could be worse. I could have brought the dumper truck. <laughs> Seeing as you're dressed up like a dunk's dinner, you'd better sit in the middle. It's a bit cleaner there. My stomach feels like a pancake. My diaphragm will spend the day tossing it and failing to catch it. That's good. It means your most things I've ever dreamed of come true. Only most? What does it mean, Arthur? Well, I'd have preferred it if you were... were... younger? What a wonderful time, not to mention place, to tell me. Preferred it if you were... I'm encumbered. If you were the architect and... Don't think I can't do your job. I can. I can do any job in the company, can't I, Arthur? You think you can? And I were the millionaire. At last I've managed to say it. What's money ever had to do with anything? Bought you that beautiful car, didn't it? <laughs> Just to show me that underneath that boiler suit, there's a different kind of suit. There I in. Well, fine. Arthur is Arthur, and who am I to change the world? It's in the bag. I'll just nip in and pour myself into it. Hi. He's drunk. Nine o'clock on a weekday, and he's drunk. My son is drunk. On his mother's wedding day, he is drunk. And he left? Nope. Drunk and selfish. <laughs> I've done that. Because I never had any in the first place. You look, um... Don't be afraid to say it. Pretty fair. Jimmy, you're so free with your compliments. They're so finely worded. <laughs> What's that? Camera. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Mum. You'll only regret it if you don't. All right. Arm in arm. Very proud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. It's very nice. Now I've seen it. Can I go home, please? Well, if this isn't home, I don't know what is. Not only the inside. You won't like it, of course. But it is half yours. Done. You took men off the Ascot field to finish this. Yes. Well, I knew you'd say yes if I'd asked. Where are those two going? They were nudging each other in the car. They're in cahoots. Finished. By the shouting. From you. No shouting. Why do you never work so hard at work? To annoy you. You've made a big mistake, my love. Now I know what you can do if you try. You see, I'm not in love with our clients. She's in two minds. She may speak, she may not. If she does, she may kill us, she may not. In the meantime, if anyone's got a pin, I'll drop it. Whose idea was this? Depends on who you're most afraid of. You know very well, the tax man. Then it was his idea. <laughs> I mean, after all, he's going to pay for it. <laughs> What's that? Um, it's still a camera. Oh, absolutely no. Come on, no, Your only regret is... I'm Mrs. Morgan. So am I. <laughs> Moira. Helen. And this is Peter's dad, Alan. How do you do? Helen. It's, uh, it's really strange to meet you. You too. <laughs> I, um, I thought you... 
Well, I, I, I didn't think you'd be so... <laughs> Hello, Mum. Hello, darling. Have a drink. Thanks. Hello, Dad. This is Helen. Uh, they, they know. Still quiet in here? Yes, if someone doesn't make a noise soon, I shall scream. Oh! <laughs> that was just the little noise I had in mind. <laughs> oh, Millie! I'd recognise your bacon roll-ups anywhere. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with them? Honestly, <laughs> she gets more like her husband every day. <laughs> um, this place, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I haven't noticed. Uh, really, I haven't. Peter, uh, your son, wouldn't let me come and look. Uh, I did sneak up one day, but um, he'd drawn all the curtains. Oh, uh, he chose the curtains, by the way, I didn't. They're lovely, but I did make suggestions. <laughs> I, uh, I like the kitchen, too. It's a bit small, don't you think? Mm. Sure. Mine's huge. Really? Yes. You need transport to get from the stove to the sink. Yes, that's why I wanted a small one. <laughs> it really is nice to meet you. Who said there was an oil shortage? I recognise your bacon roll-ups anywhere, Millie. Well, I wish someone would tell me what's wrong with them. What's wrong with them? God, this suit's cutting me arms off. It's been for 15 years. Think what that entitles me to cut off. <laughs> We should have met sooner. I uh, mean, earlier. Why? Well, um, it's like stealing. Uh, your son. Oh, have you met mine, by the way? Um, Jimmy. Hi. Hi. That was Jimmy. <laughs> Why are we staring at each other? Are we? I hadn't noticed. Um, you do know that we are married? Uh, no. Oh, well, yes, we are, but... Um, You're pregnant. Well, you do know. Mm -hmm. How? A lady called Jane. Dear Jane. <laughs> yeah, that's Jane over there. Uh, Jane. Yes, Mrs. Walker. Uh, Morgan. Yes, Mrs. Walker. Uh, this is Mrs. Morgan, who doesn't mind about me. And Peter, why should she? No, in fact, it's made me feel rather broody. <laughs> Millie, these look absolutely... Well, first it was my bacon rolls, and now it's my egg. Yeah, well... You do people a favour, and what happens? They eat them all. I'll take two, just to offend you. Now, Arthur, you're looking worried. Well, I am. Well, that explains why you look it. Anything I can help with? Just promise you won't hold it against me. I promise. <laughs> what am I promise not to hold against you? What I'm going to say. What are you going to say? Well, how do I know till the words come out of my mouth? <laughs> um, your eardrum's all right, is it? Ringo Starr would pay a fortune for drums like mine. <laughs> I'm handing you over with keys and a full tank. Your father would have expected things of me. I'm going to make a speech. Oh, no, you're not, Arthur, because I absolutely forbid it, which means I should be extremely cross. Now, please, I... Ladies and gentlemen, any... I give you Mr Arthur Poole. Oh, now, he really is true. Never mind. <laughs> no, Arthur, Arthur, dear, oh, I guess I really don't want to... Jimmy, what do you want? Not Arthur. Arthur. No, 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 no. <laughs> Right? Shut up! <laughs> so... <clears throat> Here we all are again, 20 years later. <laughs> well, you're not, but uh, me, Millie and Mrs. Walker are. <clears throat> We're well, not actually here, uh, although we are, uh, but not in the same place we were uh, 20 years ago, <laughs> when Mrs. Walker was just 21. I knew it, I knew you were. <laughs> and Peter was only five. <laughs> now... I knew her when she was only five, and she was always in the way. She'd be on the sites, mixing concrete, laying bricks, all wrong. And that was 36 years ago, <laughs> when she was five. Quite au fait with the fact that I'm 41. That's a four and a one next to each other in that order. 41. And she's still interrupted. At 41. <laughs> now, uh, 41 is no chicken to someone of 21. <laughs> but, um, if, like me, you're, uh, well, getting on a bit... Oh, he's 62. I'm 41 and he's 62. Well, I, I wouldn't say and I was... You are in 62. Come on, how old are you? Oh, any yes. advance on 62? 63. I'm not 63. 64, anywhere? That's more like it. 
41 is just a slip of a girl. Yes, but you can see it if you look closely. No, you can't. <laughs> but, um, age apart, there's people round here who reckon she's a bit, well, rough. Oh, <laughs> not to, uh, look at, to handle. But there's them as have been chopped off at the knees by her, men. There's them as quake with fear when she shows herself. There's them as are afraid to speak to her. But they've got it all wrong. Cos her mouth may be big. <laughs> but in my family, we say big mouth, big heart. Now I've got Andrina. <laughs> She's all talk. But if you go to her with a problem, well, she gives you two minutes to rattle on about it. Then if she thinks you have, she drops everything, no matter what, and says, how can I help? I said I wouldn't. And she stops being a bossy, rich, big-headed slip of a girl and, then, <laughs> and becomes a friend. Now, you may find that strange looking at her, but I don't, because I know what's underneath. It's gold. Yeah, you, you. And someone else who knows what's underneath is Peter. <laughs> now, uh, He's not exactly what you call responsible, isn't Peter? Cos well, he's just a lad, so why should he be? I mean, he's young enough to be a... Don't! Eh? <laughs> For your own sake, don't even think it, but don't say no. it. Right. Uh, so, the, the fact that he's young enough to be her son needn't bother us. <laughs> Cos none of us know what she'll look like in 30 years' time. <laughs> when she's 71. I expect he does advanced calculus as well. But then, we don't know what he'll look like, either. My guess is, he'll look a bit tatty, and she'll look just about as beautiful as she does today. Do you think he knows? Oh, yes, I think he's got it just right. <laughs> look after her, son, or I'll have your guts for a fan belt. <laughs> so I'm afraid you're not the only one around here who loves her. Is that it? Do you want more? Uh, no, no, thank you. Good as it was, no. <laughs> Good speech, eh? Beautiful. Of course, I always knew you felt like that. It's just that... You never give me the chance to say. Did you happen to mention my age, though? Sorry. Won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone. I know. And once they've gone, it means we're stuck for words. You and me, stuck for words. Only because you put a ban on arguing. Don't worry, as soon as it's lifted, I have one or two questions to ask. Like, why is your mother so stunning? Is she? I haven't noticed. She's just... a mother. There are a few of us about. <laughs> Thank you for asking them. I'd have only have regretted it later. You think I'd know that at 41? Why, you just a slip of a girl. Hmm. With indigestion and a headache. Oh, what's the plan for tomorrow? 7.30. Removal men at your place. My first sunrise. Get your things in here first, I thought. Then Arthur can help me with mine. Helen. Mrs Morgan in the house. We're going to be all right, aren't we? Aren't we? It'll take more than Millie Poole's cooking, if that's the right word, to flatten me. All I can say is... Thank God she stuffs her bacon roll-ups with prunes. <laughs> oh, uh, where do you want this, love? Uh, two points. One, I am not your love. Two, that is a bed. I think it would look absolutely marvellous in the downstairs cloakroom. Or have you put the sofa in? <laughs> Which bedroom? I was up half the night colour coding every item. Now, things with a blue label go into the room with a what coloured label on the door? That's right. Right, you're the lady lads. Blue label, blue door upstairs, right? 
Oi, time for a cup of tea. <laughs> Please. Through there's the kitchen. There you will find a kettle with a pink label on it. Fill it with water from a brown tap. Put four tea bags from a white tea caddy into a teapot with a pink label on it. Fill that with water after it is boiled and you might be in business. <laughs> what colour's the milk? You <laughs> I'll do it. Mrs. Walker. <laughs> what are you dumping rubbish in my garden for? It's Peter's. Then what are you dumping Peter's rubbish in my garden for? It's his furniture. Poor little devil's had to scavenge tits by the look of it. <laughs> Where are they, the boys? Other men, Peter and Jimmy. Well, I left them packing his mugs. No, I call them mugs. They're more like mosaics. You can taste the arrow dye on them. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to tell me I didn't pay him enough? I'm not. You are. This is nice. Get a fair bit for that now. Do you know, he's not got two plates the same as one another. Sling the lot of them, I said. She's got more plates than you've had at dinners off. And what did he say? These plates are me, he said. Just like that. Well, I could tell the tables is. He scratched his name in the poor micer. <laughs> These are nice. Get a few bump of these now. Will you please stop pricing everything in sight? You're not a totter. <laughs> Arthur, tell me, should one start as one means to go on? Yeah. Then change your mind later, like you always do. <laughs> right. Uh, you lot in here. Uh, preferably today rather than next week. Now. This table out. Well, Sally, just come in. I am not prepared to discuss the ins and outs of a table. Out into the front garden. It, look, pink label, pink door. Everything pink now goes in the garden. Chairs as well. Oh, uh, not the milk and sugar. And if Mr. Fool won't move, you can carry him out as well. <laughs> right? That table in. Oh, no. Can I not make my English more plain? That table out. It's not them. It's you, Mrs. Walker. Morgan. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be telling you your business, but uh, shouldn't that be going the other way? Probably. But at the moment, if you're pink, you live in the garden. <laughs> well, don't go inside, whatever you do. Mum, what's Grandad's table doing in the front garden? It's out there because it's rubbish. Fine for a barbecue, but I'm not having it in the house. It's an antique. So is Arthur. But would you eat your cornflakes off him? <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you've always wanted? Yes, I'm fed up with that dirty old wooden table. I want something you can wipe down, though you've obviously never heard of wiping down. A good, sturdy table. <laughs> <laughs> Needs a book. And on top of everything else, you can read. I'm glad then. <laughs> Funny place to have eyes. Tea, everyone. God, I hate these new mugs, don't you? Hang on a sec. Jimmy Arthur, do us a favour. This thing out. Chairs and all. It's only just come in. <laughs> You'll find that one especially difficult. Sling it in the corner, out of sight. You, table in the garden, in. Well, it's only just gone out. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do about it? Rebuild the house around it? In, out, in, out. <laughs> you be like that with the subcontractors? Charm, authority. Helen. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be patronising. You don't have to try so hard to accommodate me or my furniture, especially my furniture. Do you plan to go on for the next 20 years, sparing my... Why do you always divide my estimates by two? 
sparing my feelings about tables with gammy legs and chairs that lock your joints in a zigzag. Your stuff's bound to be better than mine because, well, I'm older. <laughs> Richer. No. No. Because you've got more taste. Oh, now who's trying? <laughs> Let's save the effort for something really important. Now, don't just stand there. Give me my first cup of tea in our first house. It'll be over your head, mate. Oh, go on. It'll make up for you not carrying me across the threshold. <laughs> Lifting's out, but I could lower this over uh, you. Oh, that's better. I haven't stopped all morning. Tell me, do things slow down from now on? Surely it's only people of my great age who think life goes too quickly. A trap. A definite trap. I haven't married a woman of a great age. I've married a beautiful, successful, mature, sexy millionaire. How was that? You're learning very fast. <laughs> Learn or die. If those chaps would get a move on, we could snatch a quick honeymoon before sunset. Mm. <laughs> you still haven't answered my question. Are we going to be all right? How do I know? But on the strength of yesterday and today, life could be terrific. But tomorrow... Oh, shut up. I thought we'd have a tour of the garden. I want your advice on that barn, along the lines of will it fall down or not. Nobody, not even you, works on their honeymoon. Ours is the green room, isn't it? <laughs> there are people in the house. They're busy. In case we get lost. <laughs> I can see I'll have to develop a very loud cough. Ahem. <laughs> but you're my parents. You're supposed to hate each other. <laughs>